Hello everyone, it's Rad and this is going to be a, a weekly tarot reading for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising February 4th to February 10th, 2019. I'm going to use the original reader weight uh, tarot deck and now I'm going to shuffle the deck and as I'm shuffling, uh, once again, I want to remind you to all of you that that is going to be a, a general outlook of the week and for that reason, is going to resonate in a uh, different level with uh, the different um, with the different Scorpios. So, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, that is a, a subject of a personal reading, and for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video, and there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. So, let me cut the cards now and. Uh, and let's see what we got for us. So the first card that comes as a topic of the week that is going to be the judgment, followed by the second card, which is the things that we should not do throughout the week. This is going to be the four. Then we do have the positive approach we can take uh, regarding the topic of the week. That is going to be the, the Knight of Swords. And the last card, which is the outcome of this week, should we follow the guidance that Tarot is, it gives us with these couple of cards here, that will be the Six of Cups. All right. So I'm kind of excited because I'm Scorpio, for those who doesn't know, uh, with these cards. Uh, it does look like, guys, that um, we are going to make a, a major either breakthrough or a, a reconciliation. Now, it does depend how the uh, judgment is going to manifest for us. The judgment um, could, uh, that is the first card, so that is the topic. The judgment could manifest in, in one of the ways. It could be a wake-up call. A wake-up call in a, uh, in a way that uh, we are trying to find a, a way to uh, further our things, to further our situation. Whatever we try, whatever we, can, we, we have in our mind as a... Um, uh, as a trying or kind of like as an option available to move on forward isn't really working until this very moment and that week bam something new comes into my, in, into our mind some third option available so just to give you uh, an example of it um, you know uh, you do have uh, you're working at a certain place you're not happy where you work and the only options that you do have is to stay there and work or to leave a job and become jobless all right but and kind of like you're finding yourself in a somewhat say a dead end situation <clears throat> but throughout the week a wake-up call comes around which is a completely different third option available that is the exactly the option available that you do require that you do need like a third job like additional job that you can start and so on and so forth it could be as well you winning you winning the lottery and it simply kind of like opens a brand new cycle of life for you. But the judgment is about the wake up call. It is about the sudden breakthrough that one is going to achieve into their um, into their situation. Additionally to that, the judgment could relate to reunion. It could relate that the opposites are recognized and they become one whole on entirely new level, right? And that you are to become whole as well. What was formally what was formally divided and what was formally vague now start making much more sense and it becomes united. So that could be as well a huge sign for a, uh, a second try. It could be as well a sign for reconciliation, as I said, of a past relationship or past friendship. And as well, for example, it could be also that you, uh, you have worked in a specific field of your career, but you had to abandon that career path. And throughout this week, something gives you an option to get back on this, um, on this career path and proceed further with it and become much more successful because the judgment is always about the culmination whatever uncovers with the judgment card one of the manifestations i told you it is definitely a, a thing that is going to uh, further your growth in your life and in your life cycle 
the uh, card that comes as an addition here we do have the magician and just look at that it's well guys that is definitely a, a thing that you need to capitalize on and utilize as well the magician card is about the very first initiation toward a, a major path into our life that is the part of the fool's journey and tells you uh that uh, you may uh, it kind of like could could uh caught you off guard you know this third option available you may have a little bit of a doubt in yourself can you actually make use of it and and you know can you actually um be successful um taking on this uh, this new option available or making the, the reconciliation or the unity here but uh, it, the uh, magician asks you as well to believe in yourself, to have a, a huge clamor in your capabilities and as well to support your actions with huge determination and uh, as well to use your communicational skills to their outer limits as well. So before you jump into action, negotiations are something that you want to capitalize on as much as you can. The next card that we do have, which are the things that you should not do or what can really slow your process here, we do have the full card. And in this specific follow-up, the full card does express the lightheartedness, the um, detachment or the kind of like the unaffectedness that one can have toward the situation in generally not taking the things seriously. So you gotta take this additional chance or this uh, chance for second try here very very seriously you don't you you should not be spontaneous about it as well because spontaneous uh, expression here and uncalculated moves and calculated actions are only breeding lack of belief and only are pointing how uh, what was the word here guys um how immature you can be toward the situation as well, or simply that it's you are indifferent for is it gonna happen or not gonna happen. For example, your ex boyfriend that you want to be with, you know, kind of like approaches you with explanation and so on and so forth and gives you a chance to make a reconciliation and you don't take the thing seriously or you kind of express that you, 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 for example, telling them, well, you know, I will kind of like think about it. We are going to see. And from there, you do whatever you want, you know, or kind of like you point, you show them that actually you're not that much concerned about the unfolded situation and uh, that is going to slow down the growth here is going to slow down the process so you got to uh you got to attend to those uh, to this uh, opportunity that arises for you with a, a huge uh, sense of emergency with a huge sense of seriousness as well and definitely uh, taking it as a, uh, a leap of faith or as a, something granted, it's not a thing you want because as the universe is giving you a chance to, um, a second chance here, a chance to make the things right, just as easy the universe can, can take it away from you if you show to the universe that you don't care about it. It's simply, it, it just as simple as that. The accompanied card with the uh, fool, that is the, the, um, the strength, excuse me. And uh, what the card points is that you need to maintain your calmness here. Uh, showing your temper is not a thing you want. And uh, bringing up as well a, a past, um, kind of like a, uh, trying to open past wounds it's it's not also a, a thing you want uh, and uh, <clears throat> as well um, proceeding forth without uh, taking under consideration uh, how the other side of the party is going to feel is also a thing you don't want to do here so the 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 strength card uh, does expresses the um the huge sense of self-righteousness that you were right and the other person were wrong and especially if we're talking about relationship here uh, if one relationship falls apart it is always two parties have done something wrong all right and uh, well the the guilt of one of the parties could be much bigger than the other but yet the other party also had a certain portion of contribution into the deviation or the separation of the of the relationship either business one or relationship one and uh, 
the strength here only points to that um, you know uh, the self uh, the, the the huge sense of self righteousness that you may not be willing to admit uh, you know that you also had a contribution of um, of the basically the things didn't work out uh, back in the past. So it's kind of like uh, these couple of cards basically points that you also um, trying to avoid taking the responsibility uh, for your previous actions is not a, an option available and also that you need to take the matters very, very seriously. This, isn't, this ain't a child's play, guys. This ain't a walk in the park. It's something that either can evaluate you or it basically can leave you empty handed. And that's why uh, if you want to capitalize on this wake up call or this reunion here uh, throughout the week, February 4th to February 10th, 2019, you basically uh, got to show your interest with its maximum or full extent, which uh, leads us to the next card that it is uh, the, the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords here, uh, is pointing to the things that you need to do. So how you need to approach that situation with huge amounts of courage, determination, and as well readiness to jump into action, readiness to make the things work. Also, you need to capitalize on your sharp and flexible mind, all right? And take decisions as they go, like with the snap of your fingers. But what is important here with the Knight of Swords is that your decisions always has to be also connected with your emotions. Yeah, the Knight of Swords is very logically oriented, all right, but the Knight of Swords is also kind of like, I cannot say stubborn, but more like an yielding. And if whatever you are to decide in favor of uh, does not correspond and doesn't have that synergy with what you feel, it shouldn't be decided in that favor. So also this card from that specific standpoint asks you not to make huge compromises with yourself. Again, when we do have the judgment, either is going to be a reconciliation or a, um, a chance to second go or a breakthrough. As a wake up call, it, it gives you the option to do it your way. Okay, so if regardless how you want to be, uh, you, you want it to happen, there is an option that it can happen that way and you need to find that option. It will require once again your determination, your courage with the magician said that it all, uh, we saw that it also you have to put in, in work your communicational skills. so it will require as well a bit of a negotiations here and there. But you can definitely make a, a severe breakthrough throughout this week, Scorpio, business, career-wise, or, you know, love-wise, love, love -wise, and so on and so forth in many fields, depending on how and where the judgment is going to manifest itself. The accompanied card with the uh, Knight of uh, Swords here, this is the Moon card and uh, basically what this card, what shade that card gives to the situation is that there will be some aspects of the whole process here which are going to be rather, um, I, I cannot say vague, but they, but they are going to put question marks on how things are to develop. And in those aspects of the matter, the, those aspects of the newfound relationship, which is reconciliated, uh, or the new career path that you're going to take, or in generally the breakthrough, they need to be attended. And it is where you have to put your sharp and flexible mind. And as a matter of fact, <clears throat> Looking at these cards here, they are um, active neutrals, which means that the more the situation it's uh, uh, kind of like defined with question mark, the more analytic you will become and the more eager and uh, also kind of like determination you will have to reach to the root of the matter, to the, to the rock bottom and to find a, a solution how you and the other side of the party can be obliged or not obliged but kind of like beneficial from the outcome of the situation uh, itself it's it's a, a very very positive week for you scorpio and there is a another version of interpretation of all the cards which is very practical one all right but i will say it as soon as i'm done with the general interpretation so <clears throat> 
the last one the last card that we do have for you this is going to be the six of cups and that is what is to happen as a final outcome should you follow here the guidance that tarot is giving to you so what is the six of cups guys the six of cups it's the uh, one of the purest situations of exhilaration and glee it is basically uh you will be able to express yourself first and foremost creatively. The Six of Cups points that you will be physically and emotionally connected with the situation, the person or the project that you are going to work at. Also, the Six of uh, the six of Cups is pointing that there will be many small things coming around or popping up from all this um, relationship or a project of yours on etc etc that is going to make you happy basically. We are having a, a process where you're going to start stacking up blessings, small blessings, but yet a large quantity of blessings here and there. The Six of Cups as a uh, emotional and physical uh, attraction here, it does point that this time around, in case we're talking about a reconciliation, relationship-wise especially, um, you will be able to restore it in its full glory, all right? And uh, you are, are going to have, as I said, emotional and physical connection uh, with the partner of yours. And uh, also, when we talk about the Six of Cups in a very generic uh, form, it, uh, it does affect uh, the, uh, the attachment that one has toward the situation itself in a sense that there won't be a, a big deal, so, right? Everything will be uh, faced with purity there and uh, basically you are going to be, um, well, let's say that the whole thing is going to reach a, a state of innocence. So the project you're going to work is going to be sincere. Uh, the person you're going to be with is going to be sincere. And in generally, what I'm trying to say is that the attempt here to um, make your decision according to your emotions is going to give results and the results are going to be exactly as you are expecting them. Uh, and the very least, the Six of Cups, it does... Um, it does refer to surges of happiness. So this is what is going to come at the end. Surges of happiness based on the takeoff of this situation. And accompanied with the Eight of Cups, uh, basically what this point, as soon as uh, the breakthrough happens, the reconciliation and so on and so forth, that will uh, establish a, a clear break with the poignant past. So the poignancy that you had from the past situation that touches to a certain extent or to a full extent, the situation that reached breakthrough or have been reconciled, you know, are going to lose uh, relevance. Basically, they will no longer be, um, as I said, relevant, so they are going to be outdated and you will no, you will no longer going to uh, bring them and you and the person or the situation itself will no longer going to repeat itself. Uh, not to mention that with this specific situation, uh, with these specific cards, that this, that displays a, a new, much more exhilarating perspective in the framework of this breakthrough opens up. And uh, from there, it seems like uh, if you have walked on the wrong path, you are going to be... Um, Re, uh, redirected to the right path that needs to be taken according uh, or regarding you know the uh, the conditions that you are going to feel happy from and as I uh, mentioned that this could be uh, something very practical as an interpretation this card could point to pregnancy that first may scare you for example your girlfriend may turn out to be pregnant pregnant or you may turn out to be pregnant as well and that may scare you at the start uh, and uh, as I said you gotta take the matter very seriously here you need to make the decisions how this is gonna go forth and uh, <clears throat> basically create for yourself a, a to-go list you know how you're gonna deal with it and so on and so forth because at the end uh, what we see is that it's gonna lead you to a a very very exhilarating and uh, state of life that it is full of glee so that being said uh scorpio this was your weekly tarot reading for february 4th to february 10th 
2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, that was a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign. And for that reason, <clears throat> it's going to resonate in a different level uh, and in a different way for every single different Scorpio. If you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the examples in this video, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal reading, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.